Hi, YouTubers. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And today we're going to speak on a topic that is very dear to me, and that is how to pray to the money angels. Now, when I say money angels, I'm talking about the angels of abundance and prosperity. Yes, this is powerful, you guys. You guys know I'm a money, um, you know I'm an angel person and I pray to God, the God that dwells inside of me. And I realize God has placed messengers of God here and we call them angels. I utilize angels all the time. And I want to explain to you guys today about my money angels, the angels of abundance and prosperity. Now you're probably saying, well, Yvette, I pray to God. Is, is it right to pray to angels? That's like worshiping. No, it's not. Um, I want to make sure you guys understand that everything that exists is connected. Everything that we see, everything that we speak to, the, the animals, the birds, God that dwells inside of us, and angels are all connected, okay? They're messengers of God, and they're here to help you along your path. I'd like to thank everybody for already starting to leave messages about this topic. Okay, now, angels of abundance. Um, the topic is basically prayer and um, how do we connect and pray to the angels. Now, let's get to the five, um, the five angels of abundance that I want to speak to today. And then I'm going to throw in a couple others, okay, that you may know and some of them you may not know. Now, one of the most famous um, archangels of abundance is Archangel Raziel. Um, this is the angel is basically, he's the one of the most powerful angels. And it is, excuse me, it is said that Archangel Raziel sits at the throne of God and writes everything down. Um, he is the basic, the angel that is there to, help you along with your manifestations, okay? So if you look at my vision board back there, um, the one at the bottom, or no, the one at the top, which I did a long time ago, Archangel Raziel is there. It's the same picture that's on the thumbnail. Now, when it comes down to Archangel Raziel, Raziel is the angel that helps you along your spiritual path. He's basically the teacher. He knows all the secrets. When I say he... It could be a she, okay? Because we don't talk about male, female in the spiritual realm, okay? Um, but for this conversation, we're going to use he, okay? So this angel is one of the most powerful angels that you can call on when it comes down to your manifestation. Again, we're talking about money, cars, homes, careers, um, love, anything that can make your life more abundant. And remember, people, material things is not always what um, can make you happy. It could be love. It could be friendship. So I just want you guys to understand abundance come in all ways, all manners and forms, okay? So now, the first one we spoke about is Archangel Raziel. And again, he is a powerful Archangel to call on when it comes down to abundance. Now, the next angel we're going to talk about is Archangel Gadiel, okay? Gadiel, Gadiel. Now, this angel is the angel of wealth, okay? Name is spelled G-A-D-I-E-L, okay? This is the angel of wealth, and this is a powerful angel that you can call on when it comes down to your abundance, okay? Now, Archangel Gadiel again, has these great powers. He's known as the one of the most holiest of the archangels. And again, his name is Archangel Gadiel. Now, Archangel Gadiel is one of the angels of abundance along with Archangel Raziel. So you guys got to start to get to know these names so that you guys can start using them in your prayers, using them with your affirmations or whatever else you're doing in your spiritual um, journey or your spiritual techniques that you go through every day. Now, I'm trying to get to the names first because you can't learn how to pray to angels of abundance if you don't know who they are. So that was Archangel Gadiel, okay? And again, Archangel Gadiel, you can use this angel when you feel like you have blockages or things just not working and you want to know why and you want to release whatever it is that's holding you back. 
Archangel Gadiel is one of the main angels that I would pray to if you're looking for abundance in any way, in any form in your life. Now, let's go on to the next archangel. And that's Archangel Pathiel. Pathiel is P-A-T-H-I-E-L. Now, this is the angel that opens the roads, opens the gates. He is known as the gate opener, okay? So we always speak about, we, we're going on, a, we have a path to go down, we have things to do, and everybody's looking for the doors of opportunity to open up. So when it comes down to doors opening up for you, with whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whether it's money, a home, a car, whatever it is, when it comes down to opening up the gates, opening, opening up the roadway to prosperity, to abundance, that is Archangel Pathael, P-A-T-H-I-E-L. Again, you guys, you guys can look these names up yourselves, get more information about them and use it. Okay. Now, again, this is the archangel that opens up the doors to prosperity and manifestations. Okay. So now we just spoke about Archangel Raziel, Archangel Gadiel, and we just spoke about Archangel Pathael. Now, the next angel that I want to speak about is Archangel Barakiel. Okay. It's B-A-R-A-K-I-E-L. And that's Archangel Barakiel. Now, this angel is the angel of fortune, the angel of abundance, okay? Barakiel, the name is even mysterious. I love the name. And this is the name of the archangel that brings in a whole lot of manifestations, okay? If you pray to this um, angel, this angel is the angel of good fortune. And if you if you ever see pictures of Archangel Barakiel, you'll see him holding um, fruit or abundance. Like was using back in those days, um, grapes and fruits were a symbol of abundance. So when you see pictures of Archangel Barakiel, you always see him holding or her holding a basket of grapes, a basket of fruits, whatever, and offering it, okay? Now, again, this archangel is another powerful angel, but I do want to tell you guys this. When it comes down to the archangels of abundance, one of the main things you guys have to understand and remember is that you have to have an intent, okay? And you have to make it clear what you're talking about. You don't need to confuse the universe. You don't need to confuse the angels. Whatever it is you're trying to do, be specific and talk about what it is that you want. Don't worry about how you say it. Just say it and use your heart. A lot of people tend to listen to what I say or what I write. And I say, listen, it's just a template. I need you to use your own words and speak from your heart. And that is more of a, a more of a powerful meaning to the universe when you're speaking from your heart, okay? Again, try to be clear. Do not throw things out in the next day, throw something else out. Know what you want first and know what you truly want before you go step into the angels. Now, let's get to number five. Number five is Archangel Gamiel, okay? G-A-M-A-L-I-E-L. OK, now this is the angels that brings the blessings. This is the angel that is known to hear your blessings and send it to God. OK, now we all know God dwells inside of us. But at the same time, this archangel is an angel that helps get the message over to the universe, get the message over to God. OK, again, all angels are messengers of God. But when it comes down to abundance and prosperity, we're talking about archangels, that the five main archangels that I'm speaking about. And right now we're talking about Archangel um, Gamaliel. Now, this is the an angel also that brings the gifts to you guys, okay? It is the one that all of a sudden you get something unexpected, okay? This is the angel that um, you may think something's going to come one way and it comes another way. This is one of the mysterious angels, okay, that out of the five that I would tell you that you would probably get something um, and not expect for it to come or not expect for it to come in that way. Okay, so um, we just spoke about the five angels that um, 
that I would say are the angels of abundance. Again, that's Archangel Raziel, Archangel Gadiel, Archangel Patiel, Archangel Barakiel, and Archangel Gamaliel, okay? Okay, so again, Gamaliel is one of the archangels that is the most generous. Again, you're going to see this angel coming in pictures with baskets of fruit or of abundance. Back then, again, it was fruits and um, whatever else. Could be cattle, I don't know. But it's always opening up to abundance. Now, there are other angels that I'm just going to mention their names that you guys can also look up when it comes down to abundance. And that is Archangel Metatron, okay? Archangel Metatron, again, you see the Merkel bar on my vision board. <laughs> and like I said, you guys, I use these things and I put them in my daily spiritual routines, okay? Archangel Metatron is another angel of abundance, but um, this angel is more of the one that gets things going fast. It's more of motivation, clearing your path. That is Archangel Metatron, and we're not going to talk on it too much, but Archangel Metatron, Archangel Ariel is another one. Ariel is the overseer on the earth, on the earthly plane, okay? So when it comes down to cars, houses, um, um, and jobs, careers, she's the overseer on the earthly plane. So when you have something going on in your life and trying to bring something in your life, Archangel Ariel OK, she's not known as the angel of abundance, but she's associated because she is connected with everything on the earthly plane. Now, there's Archangel um, Satiel. OK, and Satiel is the angel that helps clear the negative energy in you, um, the negative blockage blockages that can actually hold you back from your manifestations coming into um, manifestation. Okay, and then there's Archangel Haniel. Haniel is in charge of the unknown, of your emotions, of your worries, that that you keep deep down inside of you. And then we have Archangel Hamid that nobody really remembers or knows about, but that is another Archangel that is in charge of miracles, okay, of miracles just happening out of the blue. But now we're going to get back to those five archangels that I was speaking on before. And I want to tell you guys, how do you pray to these archangels? Okay. Now, first of all, a lot of people are afraid to pray because they say, I'm going to say the wrong thing. Okay. Again, it's what you say and how you feel. The intent is what's important. Okay. Not the way you said it, not the way you read something off a piece of paper, talk and speak from your heart. Speak to the archangels. If you want to do something general, you can just pray to the archangels of abundance without mentioning any of these names, okay? The archangels of abundance is listening at all times when you call on them. There is one archangel, though, that you have to repeat the, um, this archangel's name multiple times, and that is Archangel Gadiel. So when you start to set off to say a prayer to Archangel Gadiel, it's, you're going to say the name multiple times, Gadiel, 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 okay? You're going to say the name multiple times, three times. I like odd numbers, three times, five times. But then you, after you say the name three or five times, then you're going to start off with whatever prayer you say into Archangel Gadiel. Now, again, the first thing you must know is what exactly that you, that you want, Okay. Speak from your heart, okay? Again, do not worry about what you say and how you say it. Just know that it's your intent and what you feel that is going to be the message that's put out there. Now, one of the things that I will say when you're speaking to archangels, regardless if it's the archangels of abundance or not, when you pray to the archangels, you have to remember to be respectful. They're not here for you to command them what to do or say, this is what I want or start saying anything that is disrespectful to the angels. I want you guys to remember, treat the angels as a messenger of God and speak from your heart, but also be respectful. Now, I already said, speak from your heart. And now the angels can do things that can help you that, um, that you may not expect. 
So a lot of you might say, well, I'm going to speak to the archangels of abundance and I'm just going to get whatever I want. It don't work like that all the time, people. You might speak to the archangels of abundance, of angels of abundance, and they might introduce you to a new opportunity, a new job, or you might bump into a person that gets you to where you need to be. You might get someone, you might meet somebody at a gas station, or you might go to play your lottery numbers and bump into someone. This is how the universe works. And this is how the angels work. They might free you of negativity, of negative thoughts that are holding you back. They may do different things in different ways that you may not expect to help you get to where you need to be. It might come in as education, but let me tell you guys, it will come. Just be open and receptive to receiving guidance, okay? Now, how would I speak and pray to the archangels or the angels of abundance or the money angels, as you want to call it? I would actually say, um, angels of abundance, thank you for blessing me with my life. Thank you for blessing me with my prosperity, with my abundance. The God within me and my angels of abundance, I thank you and I thank you and I thank you and I thank you. At this point right now, I am asking you to release anything in me that needs to go so that prosperity can come to me in all ways and all manners. At this point, I need a job. I need a new job. And I'm already thanking you for blessing me with this job because I know you're about to open the doors of prosperity for me. I am open and receptive and I am awaiting for whatever it is you bring into my life. I am prepared to take any step any action that I need to get to where I need to be. And I know my angels of abundance are with me. I know the God that dwells within me is with me. And I know it's only a matter of time that all the doors open up because I'm going to take action. And with my action, I know I have a force behind me that is going to open up these doors. Now, I just made that up. But this is how you're going to speak when you pray to the angels of abundance. Now, if you're praying to specific angels, okay, I think I, you can pray to any of them, Archangel Michael, Archangel um, Gabrielle. You can pray to any of the angels you wish. But for this video, we're talking about um, the angels of abundance, and I wanted to speak on the five angels that we were talking about. Now, again, if, you, if you're praying to Archangel Gabrielle, you're going to say Archangel Gabrielle's name three times or more. So it's going to be Gabrielle. Gadiel, Archangel Gadiel, Archangel Gadiel, Archangel Gadiel, Archangel Gadiel, I ask you to open up the doors of prosperity to me and let it and let the inflow of abundance come to me in all ways and all manners. Let the inflow of a new opportunities with a new job come to me right now. I know you are an archangel of abundance and I know that you have my back. I'm calling on you right now as the messenger of God to open the doors and open ways for me to be blessed with many things to come. I'm open and receptive to a new job. I'm open and receptive to a new home. I'm open and receptive to a new car. All of these things right now, Archangel Gadiel, I expect and I thank you and I thank you and I thank you. Now, when it comes to our, any of the other Archangels, I basically use Archangel Raziel for a lot of things, for spiritual um, awareness, for learning more things, for um, creating the life that I want. Archangel Gat Raziel is one of the most powerful um, archangels you can use when it comes down to abundance in any way. And if you're talking about Archangel Raziel, what you would say again, you would use his name. Again, you can use his name and speak it a couple of times before you say his. You can say Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raziel. I thank you for being with me. I thank you for knowing the secrets of the universe. Archangel Raziel, I know you have the book of angels of Raziel. I know you have the book of the angels and every secret of the universe that God has created is in that book. At this time, I need the doors of opportunity to open up for me. I need the doors of opportunity to open up for me for this new job, for a new love, for a new car. I need this to open up for me and I call upon you as the messenger of God to help me along my path, to open Open the doors for me and allow abundance to come to me in all ways and all manners. At this point, I release anything in me that is holding me back. 
and I open up the doors to new opportunities. At this moment, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Gadiel, I open myself up to your blessings that you will bring prosperity and love to me. So at the same time, you can replace any of these prayers with any of these things. Archangel Paphiel, again, is the road opener. If you feel like something is blocking you, use, call upon Archangel Paphiel to open up those roads for you. Barakiel, again, is a very, um, is an angel that gives out a lot of fortune. So you can call on Archangel Barakiel. You can call on Archangel Gamiel, who is the angel, who is the angel that is the gift giver, just gives everything out. Okay. So these are the names that I'm giving you guys that you guys can call on when it comes down to manifesting something, when you feel like you're being blocked, when you feel like things are not working for you. Again, Meta Archangel Metatron is the Archangel with the Merkaba that speeds things along. Archangel Ariel is over all earthly things. There's so many Archangels you can call on, but the whole thing is remember, God is in you. God is around you. Angels are messengers of God, okay? And they could be used to get you in the right place at the right time. Again, speak your prayers from your heart. Don't go around reading something someone else said because it's really not coming from yourself. You know, you can, you can do it. Okay, I've done it plenty of times. But when you really want something and you speak from your heart, it's more powerful. The frequency and everything, it's like everything is coming right from the soul, from your inner soul, and you're speaking whatever it is that you want and, and it's coming out and it's more powerful. So I always tell people to use your own words and just speak from your heart. Again, we spoke about the archangels of abundance, the money angels, okay? We spoke about Archangel Raziel, Gadiel, Pathiel, um, Barakiel, um, Gamaliel. We spoke about Metatron, um, what do you call, um, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Haniel. We spoke about all these different angels and I just wanted to get to you guys and let you guys know exactly who you can call on when you need assistance, okay? Now, at this point, I got so many comments here and I would like to thank everyone for being here today um, on this topic. And I just want to say, yes, I do love Archangel Raziel. Like, um, again, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Um, my, um, okay, Spanish town. Uh, good morning. Hi, hi, in Jamaica. Peace and happiness. Peace. Hello. 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 Um, I just want, um, oh, Archangel Jophiel. Archangel, somebody mentioned Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is the Archangel of Beauty. Okay, so when you having a bad day and you seeing things and things just not the way you want it to be, or your life may not just be the way you want it to be. Archangel Jophiel is the angel, the archangel of a beauty. And that angel could be called on for you to see more beauty in your life, for you to appreciate what it is you have in your life. So Archangel Jophiel is a great um, archangel, an uh, archangel that I would totally recommend that you guys call on if you're having um, problems. Um, hello from Nigeria. Um, again, um, oh, Metatron is powerful. Like I tell you, I use that Merkaba. It's on my vision boards, okay? Um, blessings and abundance to everybody. Um, um, is Gadiel Gabriel? No, Archangel Gadiel and Archangel Gabriel is two different archangels, okay? Archangel Gadiel is the angel of abundance. At the same time, Archangel Gabriel is an angel of abundance, is an angel that comes in to help you with all your manifestations, with growing things. Archangel Gabriel is another angel that I work closely with, with communication. That angel is associated with communication, with growth, with abundance, okay? So it's Archangel Gadiel and Archangel Gabriel, okay? Okay? So those are two different archangels. And again, they're angels of abundance, okay? I mean, Gadiel's angel of abundance. But absolutely, Gab Gab Gabriel is also, Gabriel is also the angel that can bring in a whole lot of abundance. When you see cards, when you see pictures, they always have a picture of Archangel Gabriel on them because she also represents a lot of abundance. Um, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. And okay, so we have a whole lot of things. Uh, what about Archangel Michael? Archangel Michael is in charge of life purpose. 
That is the angel you will call on for protection, for life purpose, um, for if for things that have broken in your home that you want fixed. You know, that is a Archangel Michael is the go to for everything. OK, and listen, people, when it comes down to abundance, you can call on any angel you want. But I wanted to give you specifically the five angels of abundance that are known as the angel of abundance. Archangel Michael is one of the most powerful angels that you can call on for anything. But he's known mostly for protection, life purpose, and fixing of electronics and things like that. If you lost your keys or your car won't start. There's been times that my car broke down and I called on Archangel Michael. What happened? The car worked, got home, or got to wherever it needed to be. And I didn't have to worry about towing my car anywhere. Okay. So thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you. Blessings. Um, California. Hello. Hello. Trinidad. Hello. Um, Archangel Michael card deck. I have a lot of Archangel card decks here. Um, we, oh, Spain. Hello, Spain. I don't get too many people from Spain, but hello. Hello, Boston. Oh my God. Um, is Jesus in charge of the Archangels? Um, Listen, now, Jesus is one of the most powerful metaphysicians that ever walked this earth ever, okay? Remember, we're all connected, okay? And Jesus, I would say God, Jesus, and myself, we're all one, okay? So again, angels are messengers of God, of the universe, okay? And Jesus was a metaphysician that knew the secrets of the universe, one of the best that ever was, okay? And, and different religions, they have different people, but they all were for the, they all stood for in history at that time, something similar, okay? So I won't get into that because that's a totally different topic, but thanks for bringing that up. Um, okay, Washington, D.C. is here. Michigan is here. Um, again, France is here. Oh, somebody's auntie. <laughs> I do personal readings. Um, San Diego is here. Again, Michigan are uh, so many people. I don't want to keep your time. We already ran over so much. I know every. this is a topic that a lot of people love, and I wanted to give it to you guys today. And today we spoke on the angels of abundance, the money angels. And again, remember you guys, when we talk about abundance, it comes in all forms. Love is abundance. Health is abundance. All of these things are abundance and you guys have to understand that. So when you ever is in need, if you ever need something, speak to the angels of abundance, speak to the God that's within you. When you're walking out the door, say angels of abundance, I thank you for um, keeping me safe and protected. I thank you for opening up the doors of prosperity to me. I thank you for everything that's coming into my life, everything that already came into my life and everything that is already here just about to manifest for me right now. And you just speak from your heart. Remember, it's the intent that matters. It's you, not this, you being respectful to the angels that's going to get you there. And again, remember, if you if you, if you pray to Archangel Gadiel, um, please, please repeat the name at least three times before you start, okay? And you can do that for any of the angels. Again, I'm glad you guys were all here. Thank you for following. Um, again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. Don't forget to like subscribe and tap that bell people listen everybody forgot to like the video okay so try to like the video keeps me going it keeps me moving along my path and giving you guys more information okay if you like this live stream please like subscribe and tap that bell thank you and i'm going to sign out and namaste uh and yes thank you thank you thank you